All right. So, this is what I've done today. I took my sandblasted frame rail and I POR 15'd it. I thought about using other stuff. Heard a lot of bad things about POR 15, but obviously I heard a lot of good stuff about it if it's done right. So we will see what happens when this sets up. But it goes on really thin. It covers fairly quickly. You don't have to use a lot. I even got into all the nooks and crannies the best I could. Let me step back. I don't know how dark this video is going to be. It's a little overcasted here in Massachusetts today. So that's it. I think it's going to look good once it's covered by an engine and and our fender wells, core support, tranny, our car, a hood. I think it's going to look beautiful. <laughs> I just didn't want it to look all rusty. I didn't cake it on either. Oh, also took a few minutes and grinded down a lot of the splatter, weld splatter. Or spatter. Uh, so anyways. One down, four to go. Yes, I'm an idiot. I have this uh, 79 SE. I have a uh, 77 documented SE, both numbers matching. And then I have another 77 SE at another garage along with a 78 Trans Am. So I got four freaking subframes to do. One down. If you have any questions on this, feel free to ask me. I just used a brush and it uh, went on fairly smooth. The uh, texture in that is pretty much the texture of the steel. There's really no brush marks at all. Um, like this, you'll still see some of the pitting where it was uh, rusted. The rust was removed with this, uh, with that sandblaster right there, blowing in crushed glass. Um, PR15 recommends two coats. If I read the uh, can right, you gotta wait till it's tacky before you put on the next coat. So this is the first coat. You can see it pretty much did 90% uh, coverage. Didn't take that long to do. I just stood this thing up. I was able to get to both sides, underneath all the insides. So, if you're looking to do yours, do it, it's easy. I procrastinate on mine. I was afraid I was going to do it wrong. But at the end of the day, all I did was uh, sandblast it. Then it kind of flash rusted a little bit because I had a lot of bad weather. So uh, I went back over it with some uh, Ospo, which is this right here. That's just phosphoric acid. I uh, hosed it down. Then I uh, washed it off. Then I used uh, Prep All. Wiped it down last night, let it evaporate, blowed it off with the air blower, and then painted it. So hopefully that's good enough. 